very often people reserve storytelling for adults and children. And they often forget the powerful space that storytelling has between one adult to another. There are many lessons that we as adults can learn by listening to a very simple story. I wanna share with you a very simple story from the Bantu people called The Name of the Tree. Now this story takes place in a time when animals and man lived in peace and harmony. And during that time, there was a very generous farmer who wanted to make sure that the animals were able to eat no matter what the weather. So he traveled across the land, planting the seeds to a very special tree. This tree was magical. It could bear fruit no matter what the weather. And all you had to do was stand under the tree and call out its name, Wangulema. Now, as the animals watched the farmer plant the seeds, the farmer said to them, this tree will provide fruit for you no matter what the weather. All you had to do was call out the name of the tree. And the name of the tree is Wagulema. Now, none of the animals listened. They were so busy thinking about the fruit that the tree could bear the oranges, the apples, the bananas, the mango. And they got deep in thought on what they could get from the tree. So when the farmer finished planting, he went about his way. Well, time come and time go, and soon a drought fell upon the land, and there was no food to be had. But the lion remembered that the farmer had planted a very special tree. And they went to where the tree was, and there it was, majestic, but it didn't have any fruit. The elephant thought, oh, I remember. The farmer said to stand under the tree and call out his name. The lion said, OK, 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 so what's the name? Duh, I forgot. The lion was annoyed because everyone knows that an elephant remembers everything. Well, since the lion was the king at that time, the lion thought of the next best animal to help them solve that problem. He called on the rabbit. You see, the rabbit was swift. He moved quickly. He could get things done in a flash. So the lion asked the rabbit to go find the farmer to get the name of the tree so they could have the fruit. And the rabbit, lickety split, went on his way. And quickly he found the farmer. He said to the farmer, I need to know the name of the tree. And before the farmer could even get the name out, the rabbit was on his way back. When he got to the lion and all the other animals, the lion said, okay, rabbit, what's the name of the tree? Oh, I forgot. The lion was again annoyed. So he thought, who else could he send that he could trust to get the name of the tree? Well, he thought about the eagle. We all know how majestic and strong the eagle is. And he has an ego, and he wanted to make sure that he did a good job. So the lion asked him. Well, the eagle flew his majestic wings to the place where the farmer was. And when he got there, he announced that he was there to get the name of the tree. Well, the farmers politely said the name of the tree is Uwagulima. The eagle took the name, got back in the sky, and then he started doing flips and tricks and all kinds of things, showing off his skills. And when he finally got back, the lion said, what is the name of the tree? 
But I can show you my new tricks. The lion was again annoyed. Well, he thought and he thought, what animal could he send this time? All the animals, me, I can do it. He decided that he would send Turtle. Now everyone knows that Turtle is slow, but Turtle is always on purpose. So the lion asked the turtle to go find the farmer to get the name of the tree. So turtle, so honored, wanted to repeat what his task was. So you want me to go find the farmer to get the name of the tree to bring it back to you so that we can get the fruit. And when he was sure what his mission was, he set out to find the farmer. Slowly but surely, he trailed to find the farmer. And when he finally got to the farmer, he said, Mr. Farmer, how are you? What beautiful crops you have. How's your wife and your children? And he engaged in a discourse with the farmer. The farmer felt real comfortable. And when the turtle was sure that he and the farmer had made a rapport, he said, Mr. Farmer, we forgot the name of the tree and we have nothing to eat. So I was wondering if you would just kindly share the name at least one more time and I promise we won't come back to bother you again. The farmer felt real comfortable with the turtle. He felt how sincere the turtle was, and he trusted that the turtle would do what he was supposed to do. So he said, the name of the tree is Uwangulima. The turtle said, Mr. Farmer, I want to make sure that I'm saying it correctly. Can you say it again? And the farmer said, the name of the tree is Uwagulima. The turtle said, Mr. Farmer, I want to make sure that I really have this, so I'm going to repeat it. The name of the tree is Uwagulima? Yes, said the farmer. It was only after the turtle understood what the farmer said that he went back to the land of the animals. Slowly but surely, but along the way, he kept repeating the name of the tree. He kept repeating the name of the tree. He kept repeating the name of the tree until he was sure that he had it deep within his heart and his memory. And when he got back to the lion and all the animals, the lion said, okay, turtle, what is the name of the tree? The turtle proudly said, the name of the tree is Uwagulima. And just then, all the fruit came upon the tree. It fell down so that all the animals could feast. And after all the animals ate until their bellies was full, the lion said to the turtle, Turtle, what was it that you did that the eagle could not, nor that the rabbit could not? And the turtle said, well, first of all, I remembered that we already sent two animals to get the name. So I thought I would put the farmer at ease, that he would get to know me, that he would trust me. So I built a rapport. And after he told me the name of the tree, I wanted to make sure I really understood what he said, so I asked him to repeat it again and again. And then I wanted to make sure that I understood what he said. And I asked him to listen as I repeated the name of the tree so that he could correct me if I was not saying it correctly. And then lastly, I wanted to remember what he said. I wanted to feel what he said. 
And I said it again and again to myself. And when I got here, I really understood the magic in saying the name of the tree. Well, that story has a message, not only for the animals, but for we as humans. You see, when we're talking to an individual, we really have to listen to what they have to say. It's important that we establish a rapport. It's important that we let them know that we understand what they're saying. And it's important that we ourselves understand.